Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing direct email line to me and my hand-picked crew with your questions about buying this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing the 2016 SIHH launch, Generation 3 Vacheron Constantin Overseas Chronograph. 42.5 millimeters in stainless steel. This is a watch that's 14 millimeters thick, and from luxury to lug across the case 50.4 millimeters now on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist we're gonna get a sense of how this 42 and a half wears though it might be the same size as a Royal Oak offshore it wears nothing like one being considerably thinner and with a case that really arcs around the wrist at the edge. So ergonomically, this is a winner, and you can see it would easily fit underneath a tight sleeve or dress cuff. It sits even lower than its nominal thickness on the wrist, and I can recommend it for wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference, maybe even 14 if you put it on one of its accessory straps. And the watch includes both a leather strap in blue and a rubber strap in blue, plus a separate steel deployment clasp so that you can wear those straps with the watch. You may ask, what is this about accessory straps and clasps? Well, because the watch features a fully removable quick release lug system. You can just use your fingernails to remove, and unfortunately I manicured my nails so they're not quite as handy as they normally would be. What's left of my nails here? Help me out guys. There we go. Okay. Now you can see that this is a beautifully hand finished bracelet. We're going to get close again so you can see the details. No facet left unfinished. A handsome bevel along the flanks, polished inside the links. You can see the Maltese cross motif and the satin finished tops. But if you look, you'll also note that every individual link is removable and that on both sides of the bracelet. Plus, there is a hidden micro adjust, not one, but two, as each side of this bracelet features a 1.5 millimeter extension that you simply pull out to fine-tune the fit. So not only can you remove every link in pursuit of the perfect fit, but you get not one but two micro adjustments. Now, the quick release system easily allows you to fit the straps, and I should mention that one of the reasons you might wish to remove the bracelet is to appreciate the caliber 5200 manufacturer five position adjusted like a chronometer this 54 joule automatic movement boasts a 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate a 52 hour power reserve and both vertical clutch and column wheel and you can see the column wheel with black polished tops and the Maltese cross motif in the center there is a ceramic rotor bearing unidirectional winding 22 karat mast not 21 carats, not 18 carats, 22 carats. They're giving you all the gold. Triple finished, it is an engraved compass rose rotor with satination, media blasting, or that chiseled appearance you see, as well as polish, and it has that lovely compass rose center. Now, you can see Cote de Genève and Geneva Hallmark on the movement. There's the Poisson de Genève, but note it's also on the case, as since mid-2012, the Poisson de Genève is a full watch standard of finish as well as precision, and these are accurate watches. 150 meters water resistant, because there's a paramagnetic soft iron ring around the movement, it is also 25,000 ampere per meter anti-magnetic, the same as the solid case back generation two, only you can see the movement for the first time on an overseas, and you get a manufacturer caliber for the first time on an overseas. Cote de Genève, engine turned perlage, you can see the mirrored anglage on the edge of the bridges, the engine turnings on the base plate, black polished screws with chamfered slots and circumference, and you can see those rich, thickly textured Cote de Genève. Turn it all over, and you can see that the watch features a blue dial that is simultaneously glossy and metallic. And I don't know where this dial came from, I can't say, but it does remind me of a certain blue chronometer. There's a chapter ring outboard in gloss blue that allows you to more easily read the chronograph indications, and because of the vertical clutch, maybe I need to wind this one up, but because of the vertical clutch mechanism, when you engage this chronograph, it starts without any jump or stagger. As a result, it has a very smooth and seamless actuation that tells true time. Also, because of the vertical clutch, you can leave it engaged full time with no additional wear and tear to the timepiece. There is a Date with a quick set, the only refinement the movement lacks is a hacking seconds mechanism. But in every other regard, this is the best of modern technology and finish. As you can see, the top of the case entirely hand finished with an expanding bevel at the lug hood, black polished flanks. Note that the Maltese cross bezel is polished on its top but satinated within its recesses, and there are satin finishings to the hoods of the lugs and the hoods of the case. Maltese cross crown, screw down chronograph pushers, as well as crown, and you can see there's a slash cut on their flank 
planks, designed to make them easier to grip as well as to evoke that Maltese cross logo of Vacheron. White gold hands, indices, and logo, all to resist oxidation and tarnish over time. This watch is the total package. Technically and aesthetically sophisticated, more refined, advanced, and feature-laden than any Royal Oak Nautilus or Aquanaut. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com to prove that when you pick your Holy Trinity sports watch, you think different. And we're back with the Vacheron Overseas Chronograph.